Hi friends, thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mahogany and this is Mahogany Reacts. So in today's video, we're continuing with this Harry Potter journey again, you guys. We're halfway there. I'll be watching Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Last week, I watched Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and it was so good. I love the twist at the end. It was just an overall great movie and definitely my favorite in the film franchise so far. I haven't read your comments, and you've been telling me things that happened in the book that didn't happen in the movie. And you've also been telling me some things that I may have missed as I was reacting and watching the movie. Some people did get a little testy that I missed some particular scenes or one scene. And just remember, I'm human. I may miss something as I'm reacting. So just, just remember to be kind in the comments. Let's keep this a safe space. It's all fun. I don't want this to be too serious. It's just for fun. It's entertainment. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind as you're leaving your comments. But overall, I'm so thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for all of you. Thank you for your comments. And if you want to continue on this journey with me, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave your comments down below. And with that being said, let's get right into the reaction. Hmm. Those snakes again. Oh my gosh. This start is even more eerie than Prisoner of Azkaban and that movie was definitely dark and eerie. Who was that? Are they in like a, is it a graveyard or something? I wonder who the, where are we right now? Are we in Hogwarts? Are we back in the real world? I wonder who's in there. Is Harry, Hermione, and Ron in there? This is, I feel like something's gonna happen. Something's gonna pop out. No, 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 I'm Lord Voldemort. I only meant. Oh, Voldemort. The Peter no. Pettigrew. Ooh. The boy is Voldemort was down bad. And that parcel tongue. Amy tells me the old buckle caretaker. Ooh, so they know. Oh god, see you should have stayed at you should have stayed Oh gosh, he should have stayed at his home. Harry! So Harry's dreaming. Wake up! Wake up for So they're already all together. So they must be heading to Hogwarts. Come on, Ron! Your mother says breakfast's ready. Oh, they're at Ron's house, of course. That's where they went last time before they went off to Hogwarts. Some of us had a bit of a sleepy start. <laughs> this is Amos Ron, Stephen, that boy be sleepy. Hey, isn't that the guy from Twilight? Just over there. Where are they headed to? Whose boot is? is it a, that's a giant boot. That isn't just any man your boot, mate. It's a port key. A port key. Oh wow. What? It's like throwing him around like a boomerang. That's actually kind of fun. That looks fun. Let go. <laughs> Jesus. Is this another way to get the Hogwarts? Because I'd rather take the train, the creepy train where something always happens. <laughs> well, kids. Welcome to Quidditch World Cup. Quidditch World Cup? Oh God, these Quidditch games never go right. And this is the World Cup? I'm just glad this movie didn't start with Harry's uncle and the aunt and the son because they are terrible. Don't boast, Draco. You don't want him to boast? Y'all all are all about boasting. That's all Draco does is boast. This looks so much fun. I want to go to the Quidditch World Cup. Nah, Harry's the best seeker in the world. Harry can beat him. To the final of the 422nd Quidditch Whoa. World Cup. Whoa. They've had over 400 Quidditch World Cups. Wow. So is Crumb gonna be a good guy or a bad guy in this movie? There's no one like Crumb. Crumb? Dumb Crumb. Not dumb Crumb. Oh, wow. We've got to get out of here. Why? Why? See, it started too happy. 
it started too happy. I knew something had to pop off. I didn't know it was going to happen this soon. Who are they? Don't get split up. Oh, God. That is the worst when the gang gets split up or decides to split up on their own. Like, you never split up. God. Just knocked him out. Oh, goodness, Harry. Is that where they just... Everything is, like, burnt to a crisp. It's, like, desolate now. Is that the same... Oh, there's the snake. Is that the skull from the beginning? And who's this? And where is everybody else at? Everybody else was, was able to escape except Harry? Been looking for you for ages. Well, thank God. They found him. What is that? That's a good... And it's messing with his scar. My son. Where were you? Where were? Where was everybody? You've been discovered at the scene of the crime. Crime? So now you're gonna accuse them? Wow. Voldemort coming back with a banger because we definitely did not see him in the last film. So he made his grand entrance for sure. Anything from the trolley, dears? I hope nothing happens on the train. Let's just get to Hogwarts safe and sound without any incidents. Hmm. Okay. Look at Harry. I so worried them so much. It happened right under their noses. It seems like a lot of things happen right under their noses. You know Sirius will want to hear about this. Oh, Sirius. Are we going to see him again? Oh, they've been riding each other. Hmm. Who are they transporting? It seems to be a very important person. Is it that crumb guy? Oh. The graphics in this one is very good already. That was nice. This castle will not only be your home this year, but home to some very special guests as well. Okay, as long as it's not the Dominers. We don't want those guests. Sports has been chosen to host the Tri Wizard Tournament. Now, let me be clear: if chosen, you stand alone. What does that mean? And the headmistress, Madame Maxine. Okay. Look how they're walking in, just strutting in, with all the confidence in the world. Ron is enamored. Ron. <laughs> He did it. Oh, they doing all the tricks. Who is this? Is that the same guy that Harry saw? I'd like to say a few words. Eternal glory. That is what awaits the student. Dumbledore always has some great speeches <laughs> for the kids. This, that student must survive three tasks. Three extremely dangerous tasks. What's happening? Oh. Did the... How did that happen? Arthur Seldon Azkaban fell thanks to him. Oh. So he's the one who catches criminals. Why are you zooming in on the Harry? Oh, goodness. What son he's drinking, do you suppose? I don't know, but I don't think it's pumpkin juice. Mm, it's definitely not pumpkin juice. No student under the age of 17 to be allowed to put forth what? their name for the Tri-Wizard Tournament. So Harry, Hermione, Ron. What are you doing? None of them can join? Y'all better listen to Dumbledore. Anyone wishing to submit themselves to the tournament need only write their name upon a piece of parchment and throw it in the flame before this hour on Thursday night. And it will let them know that if they can join the tournament. There's no turning back. As from this moment. They make it seem like this tournament is just, if you join it, do it at your own risk. Like, what's going to happen? Ex order. Ministry malcontent. And your new defense against the dark arts. Another defense against the dark arts teacher. This is like the third one. But first, which of you can tell me 
How many unforgivable curses there are. Hermione. Three I, <laughs> I knew she was going to be the first to say something. Oh, no way. The old codger can see at the back of his head. I'm here to cross Jeez. Okay. So. Don't play with him. Goes you. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh gosh. I would be terrified. Terrified. She's lethal. <laughs> now the teacher playing. That's what you get, Drake. And then Drake, he's got so much to say, but is always scared of something. Scores of witches and wizards have claimed that they only did you know who's bidding under the influence of the imperious curse. So the imperious curse just allows you to control people and what they do. <sighs> Come on, Neville, what you gonna do? Perhaps you could give us the last unforgivable curse. Hmm. Yeah. The last one must be really. <laughs> so it's just the ability to just to kill. The killing curse. Mm hmm. Only one person is known to have survived it. Is it Harry? And he's sitting oh. in this room. Mm hmm. Yeah, that ain't pumpkin juice. That's something else in that cup. So the three court curses that are unforgivable is the ability to control people, torture people, and of course, kill people. Uh -huh. Son, you all right? Well, at least he's checking on him to see Mom, if he's okay. We'll have a cup of tea. I want to show you something. Oh, well, that's nice. As long as he doesn't have anything else up his sleeve, to scare Neville. <laughs> Y'all gonna force him to play the um, tournament to put his name in the hat? Oh yeah, and why is that Granger? You see this? This is an age line. Don't oh, they're themselves. trying to buck the system. Sorry. They're trying to get over so they can be in the tournament. So, a genius like Dumbledore couldn't possibly be fooled by a doll just pathetically dim-witted as an aging potion. Okay, let's see if it works. Ready? That thing. <laughs> yes, I feel like. Yes. Nah, that ain't it. Yep. <laughs> That, uh, yeah, Dumbledore is not that stupid. Now y'all done aged to about 75 years old. <laughs> See? Stop trying to get over. The dub set champion is of Victor Crump. Yeah. We already knew he was going to be in it. The Hogwarts champion, Cedric Diggory. Yeah. The one that they basically forced to put his name in. Nate, what's going on? What is the thing? What is the Goblet of Fire thing doing? Harry Potter. Now Harry you know. Potter. Harry always gonna be in it. <laughs> you... No. But he's way too young. Harry Potter. Come on, Harry. Oh God. Why y'all? Oh, Harry. I'm sorry. You got to do it, though, because they don't look like they're going to let you skip out. Oh, Ron is mad. It's not his fault. Everybody looking like, ugh. You're not even 17 yet. I mean, how did he cheat? The other two boys tried to cheat, and it didn't work, so there's no way he cheated. Oh. The ministry is up in arms about this. Harry, you put your name in a cupboard of fire. No, sir. You ask one of the oldest students to do it for you? No, sir. Jesus. I'm absolutely sure. Yes, sir. Mr. Potter has no choice. So he has to be in the tournament. He is a tri wizard's champion. <laughs> the ministry don't know what to do with this information. They are all confused. Like, it is what it is, though. I mean, Potter is a boy, not a piece of meat. Hmm. That's the difficult part about it. It's like he's young, but if you don't put him in there, what are the consequences? How did you do it? 
never mind. Doesn't matter. Ryan, don't be, friend, be though, upset. You know yeah, that's me. Ron Weasley, Harry Potter's stupid friend. <sighs> Ron, stop it. You're not stupid. Look, I don't know what happened tonight, and I don't know why. It just did. <sighs> Harry don't even be doing nothing. He just be trying to live his life. Piss off. And be... Ron! Really? Oh, come on. Don't treat him like that. Y'all are friends at the end of the day. Me, myself, and I want to know. Not to mention my rabid readers. <laughs> so, who's feeling up to Sherry? Mm. It's always dicey when you do interviews Lovely. for papers. Because they can spin some stuff. You say one thing and they said you said another thing. And then it's a whole issue when it goes out to the public. So tell me, Harry. Hey, he said a mere boy of 12. Did they give these kids media training first before they talk to this lady? To have mastered spells that you wouldn't attempt in your dizziest daydreams. Yeah, she's going to cause confusion and all types of, like, they're going to be fighting. How do you think they'd feel? Proud or concerned that your attitude shows at best a pathological need for attention? Wait a minute now. Are you a journalist or a psychiatrist? Is that a letter from Sirius? Talk, Harry, face to face. So we're going to see Sirius in, in this in one? <gasps> Why is Sirius in the fire? I don't have much time, Harry, so let me get straight to it. Did you or did you not put your name into the Goblet of Fire? No! I don't know why, but he was going to use this man to get to me. I mean, it was only a dream, right? Yes. It was not it's only a dream. a dream. No, it's not. That meant something. Harry, that Goblet, these are not just coincidences. Hogwarts isn't safe anymore. Has Hogwarts ever been safe? Ron. He says I was talking to anyone. I heard voices. Maybe you're imagining things. Yeah, Ron. Nothing happened. He wasn't Maybe talking to anybody. One. You're probably just practicing for your next interview, I expect. <sighs> Ron, you're gonna be like this the whole movie. Don't don't act like this. I wonder what the new dark arts teacher knows. Cause he has to know something since he was like one of the people who caught um prisoners or criminals. And sent them, sent them to Azkaban. Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him that Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's Okay, that right? that's too many well, people. What? She just named, what? Yeah. Uh, well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl. That's true. Y'all need to talk to each other. Like, we don't need a middleman. Talk to each other. Hagrid, have you combed your hair? As a matter of fact, I have. Let Hagrid look but nice. Like the, same thing. the cloak. Put the cloak on. Why does he want Harry to go with him to wherever he's going? I thought perhaps you had forgotten me. Are they in a relationship? Forget you, a lamb. <laughs> what is it you wanted to show me? Harry is like, ew. Why did Harry have to be here for this? Dragons. That's the first task. You're joking. Come on, Harry. These are seriously misunderstood creatures. I don't think they're misunderstood at all. <laughs> so everybody's gonna wear Potter Stinks pins? Thanks. Why oh, you gotta be so cool? My father and I have a bet, you see. I don't think you're gonna last 10 minutes. I'm so over Draco. Pathetic. Oh no, you don't, Stunny! I teach you to curse someone when their back is turned. Stunny! <laughs> Moody is not playing with Draco. Is that a student? Technically, it's a ferret. Oh boy, be careful, Moody. His dad might have you sentenced to death. Oh, my father will hear about this. Is that oh, great. <laughs> I don't think Professor Moody cares what your father thinks or says. About your father, that would curl even your greasy hair, boy! Alistair! It doesn't end here! Alistair. I like him. I like him. <laughs> oh. Wouldn't even bother telling you what's in there. 
Another what box. What are you going to do about your dragon? Oh, um. So they just have to fight and defeat the dragon? That's the first task? But I'm not allowed a broom. You're allowed a wand. Mm. Harry can do some things with that wand. Just like in the last one when he defeated all those Diminers. Harry, I hope you came up with your strategy. The key is to concentrate. After that, you just have to battle a dragon. I mean, yeah. Aww. Yeah. Now they're gonna try to make it seem like they're together. This lady is trouble. Mr. Crumb. Are they picking the dragon? They'll have to fight. Sleeves. The horn tail. What's that, boy? Nothing. Don't tell me horn tail is like the worst one. The Hungarian horn tail. Of course it would be. Poor Harry, he looks terrified. Like, I don't want to do this. I didn't sign up for this, literally. <laughs> he did not sign up for this. Where's the dragon? It's going to pop out. And there's the golden egg. So close, yet so far. And it's not going to be that easy. Nope. Jesus. Oh. <sighs> Harry, 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 Harry. The dragon ain't going to take it easy on you either. Godly. And he, he enjoying it. Right. Use your wand. Use your magic. I always say that. Use your magic. You have it for a reason. What did he do? Oh, he has a broom. <gasps> well, I they didn't account for that. Are you not supposed to stay within the like in the the battlefield? They can go outside of it. Mm, it's going to come in front of him. It's going to be in the front of him. Yep. No. This is so dangerous. They were not lying. Yeah. He made it. <laughs> but you got to go get the egg. Come on. Yay, he made it. See, never doubt Harry. He gonna make some things shake. There's a leg or an arm, pack it in all together. Never! And I hope all the people who are wearing those um, Harry stink pins aren't clapping now. 